talk to Dylan, but... So in that HOH comp, mm-hmm. I think Dre wanted to drop, but she wanted to show Ike and Dimitri that she just didn't give it to me. I don't want to talk too much about for Dre, though, but yeah. That's real talk what I think happened, though. Yeah. So she stayed up a little bit longer and then, like, Mm -hmm. did a little bit of a... So I I just, that's that's what I think about the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she wanted to do. Because realistically, I don't think Dre cares if I go after Ike and Dimitri. She just didn't want them to lose trust in her. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. That's just a guess, but... Yeah, to be honest, to be honest, but I think Jay's scared that she, she's scared that she's gonna really trust them because you were really trusting them before and you were trusting them for the find the, the five people things. Yes, I was. And yeah, yeah, that's that's why she was like scared. She was like, it's like it's still like going to put them and they still like throw us under the bus. So yeah. she's scared that she's gonna still trust them after, when the, she's talking to you. But she's seen a lot of... I think putting Ike and Dimitri up is the best. Mm-hmm. I think putting them up is the best. I think so, to be honest. It's, <laughs> it's, like, this, it's like a sexy move, too. That's a cool one. I, that's I don't weird. want to talk for Drake, because I don't want Drake to be but mad, because yeah. I said things that she didn't want me to say, but there's a lot of things that... Yeah. Like, because Ike didn't do this. Like, the... Like, you can drop in. Oh, really? She yeah. said to me, she said that. Don't oh, do really? It. She said that to me. Yeah. I don't know if she wanted I guess to convincing, though. She's good at talking. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get some water. Oh, do you want some? mine? Yeah. Oh, do you have water? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'll put some. The hot tub is not cold. Oh, hot tub. So I don't, so you're the only person I've, like, told that Ike and Dimitri, I think I'm going to nominate. Because mm-hmm. I want to talk to other people and get information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Ike went like no to Dre, right? It's switched off. Because I was not looking at her, but she was like, I can't believe I won that competition. So. I, I can't believe I won that competition. So cool, you're H O H, yeah. I can't believe I won that competition. So my other options are, you and Dre are both safe. I would give you mm-hmm. my word, obviously. Dylan, Karen is the pair. Ike, Dimitri, and then Jackie. Mm-hmm. Dylan, Karen, that's kind of a boring move. It's really boring. Yeah, it's not fun. But I, I wouldn't understand like, if you think that you can have trust with Ike and Dimitri. But to be honest, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to. They just put me and Bruno on the block. Exactly. And they didn't want you to use the... No, they didn't. They said to me that... They don't care about my life in the game. No, not at all. They don't. And I was not, like, they were saying, like, we were going to keep Kevin. But I was not sure about that at all. Yeah. Even Dre was not sure about that. She was ready to campaign to Dylan and Jackie to, to have their votes, because she was not sure about that. I don't know what Dre's going to say to you, because she doesn't want to say too much, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I think Ike and Dimitri is the play. But I'm going to talk to the other people and see what they say. Talk to you. To everyone. But I'm, I can't believe I won that challenge. I didn't think I was going to win. The whole I Dylan's going to would, would win. I thought Dylan would win. And he, like, was not focused. So Kay. at this point, I was like, yes. So now that Bruno's gone, yeah. You're the person I talk to about everything. Okay. Just so you know that. Yeah. Did Dylan throw that challenge? I don't know. He was it, really pissed. It's, he just dropped out of nowhere? Because it was four people He said people it was left. not focused. Because it was you, me, Dre left, right? Mm-hmm. Did he literally just feel good with all of us? Maybe, maybe like, I don't know, because like... Or did he just actually really lose focus? I don't know. This I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know. I think he really wanted to win. But 
I don't know. So, here's another thing. Um, so this vote, there's, this week there's going to be five votes. Five people, yeah. Five so people three, voted. Three votes to evict. Three votes to evict. Three, two is the closest mm -hmm. you can get. So mm -hmm. let's say I put up Ike and Dimitri, mm -hmm. and Dimitri wins the power veto. I would put up Jackie. Mm -hmm. That would be the replacement. Yeah. Me. Then and if Ike yeah. would be convinced that Dimitri, Dre, William are going to vote to keep her. Do you think so? I don't, I don't know if she's that much convinced. Like, I think she, sometimes she makes you believe that we are so close, but I'm not sure if she really thinks that Dre is that close to her. Really? I, I don't know. I think she thinks Dre is. I don't think she's... I, no, I know she's not. she doesn't trust me. But she doesn't trust Dre is sometimes, I don't know. Like, I think she said stuff against Dre to yeah. people, and I don't remember what. Like, she told Jackie that you hate her. Yeah. She tried to get you to go against Jackie. She told Dylan stuff about but me. But she said it in front of Driss, so she's probably trusting... I don't know if she thinks that Driss is like closer to her than me, because she said that in front of her. Uh -huh. Driss was there when she said that to Jackie. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You think Driss is going to keep that for her? Yeah. Like, Driss was like running to say it to me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just have to think about everything. But I think Ike and Dimitri is obviously the move. And, I'd be and it's, like a, it's like a good move, too. It's just like... That's cool. Uh, in your resume at the end. It's like a big HOH. Yeah. And she would, at the same time, like, you have a good reason to do it. Like, they, just sent, they just put me on the block. Exactly. Would you go against... Would you prefer like to see Aika go or Dimitri go? Both are... Aika's a better social player. Mm -hmm. She's better at convincing people. Dimitri's a better competitor. Mm -hmm. Maybe Dimitri? Yeah, you, you prefer Dimitri? Aika's better socially. For sure. Hey, Dre. Are you going outside? Hi. Yeah, I'm How are you? Outside. I'm alive. So you know you're safe. You two are safe. Yeah. Thank you. Now I've, I'm, de I'm deciding between the other five people about what to do. It's good. <laughs> yeah, you guys are totally safe. Well, I'm glad I let you win. Yes. <laughs> what? I was just laughing. I can't believe I won that competition. It's yeah. My, my fingers are still, they're numb. Like, are you just still numb? Same. It's hard. Mm. It was really hard. Yeah. It was really hard. Do you know what you're going to do or you don't know what you're going to do? I, I, I have an idea I'm leaning towards. Like, I can Dimitri just talk to me. I have to talk to Dylan, Emily, Jackie. Going into this HOH, did you have a goal? I just wanted to win. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's... Well, between the, between the five people, there's two pairs. Aika, Dimitri, mm -hmm. Dylan and Karen are kind of a pair. Mm -hmm. And then Jackie's kind of by herself. Yeah. That's how I feel like with the five people left on the table. Yeah. I feel like like you were I, you were here while Aika was talking. If I can trust Aika and Dimitri to keep me safe next week, then that would be awesome. But if I can't, then I should just, they're the biggest targets, I should go after them. But how do you feel? Do you feel like you trust them? I don't know. No. No, they just put me on the block. They just sent Bruno home. Maybe. If, maybe if I kept him off, they'd be so thankful that they'd keep me safe for one week. Maybe. I, I, I don't want to necessarily influence your game. This is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what I said. But this is the same like game thought that I gave to Anka and Dimitri when it was you and Bruno on the block and why I thought Bruno should leave compared to you. Yes. I was straight up and I told them. Sorry, I'm kind of hot. I was straight up and I told them they are a pair and you guys are a pair. And 
if ever no sorry before you guys went on the block i said if ever you guys so kevin bruno and kadimitri were to come together it might have been good for you because you could have been a powerful four yes. and go after the rest of the people i also said that if she felt or they felt like they could trust you it could have been good for for you guys to work together yes. in order for you to go after the five people or whatever that are in the middle because that was our pitch was go after the middle mm -hmm. and i told them it is a good pitch um also i told them before you were on the block if ever you put them on the block you guys are going to stay the biggest targets in the house mm -hmm. and not putting them on the block allows for you guys to like all of the targets the duos the powerful duos would be together so it mm -hmm. would be easier for you i gave them that argument and i gave them the down part of the the, the argument which is they didn't feel like they could they could trust you and that they, it could work and they did feel like you guys would turn on them yeah which if they felt like it was it was more of a of a disadvantage and an advantage then yes put them on the block mm -hmm. and so they did put you on the block and then i told them when you guys went on the block that i would prefer for bruno to go because i already told you the connections and all that and i felt like he lied in this game a lot to me and i didn't like that mm -hmm. and i and i didn't trust both of you so it didn't really we matter didn't trust but him more yeah him i felt like it was worse so yeah. What's up, what's up? What's up, big bear? What's up? Just talking. a little five, ten minutes? Yeah. What, yeah. We, this way? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like this? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, um, um, and I felt like Bruno was a better pick for me. And I did tell them, if you feel like Bruno is a better, like, a better player to stay for you guys, then do it. But I just feel like at this point, you should have kept Kevin and Bruno if you wanted to work with them. And if you put them on the block, I don't feel like... I feel like regardless, it's... Mm -hmm. You already put them on the block, so whatever, whatever. And then they really wanted you, both of you, to stay on the block so that they could still have time to think who they wanted to go. Yes, they, that's why they were so against you using the power of data. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I was against it as well, as well because I felt like William having the power of veto. <clears throat> is a great thing, but at the same time, I feel like it put his game in danger a Bad lot. Guys. And I kind of Dimitri kind of like trust William, but not fully. They kind of trust William through me. Yeah. So I just felt like he would have been in danger, and then I, I felt like I could fight and make sure that Bruno leaves. Mm -hmm. And when you told me that, <laughs> I stopped asking you to use it. Mm -hmm. I, tr I trusted that you guys did have my votes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. I feel very like there's information that I have yeah. that I don't necessarily want to give away. Um, but let's say that after I spoke to you and I said like William is not good for his game and, and if you stay on the block, I am going to fight for Bruno to leave mm. and all that. Um, that was completely honest on my part. And I did have a lot of conversation with Anka and Dimitri afterwards. And let's say that if the secret power of Vito wasn't used and you were still on the blog, there is a possibility that I wouldn't have been able to, like... Save you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I thought it was close to, a, like, 100%. But obviously you have information. Though. So, yeah. So there is a possibility that I, I wouldn't have been able. And that's just because... Um, there was a lot of going back and forth between Aika, Dimitri, and I. Yeah. And I did feel like I really, really could could get the people to vote for you to stay. Um, but at the same time, I'm only one and they're two, so sometimes it's a little easier yes. for them to convince people. Um, I just don't want to give too much information because so I So thank goodness like, for the secret power of Vito. Let's put it like that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> during that competition, I felt like I was okay with me not winning. Yeah. I was okay with me dropping, but I felt like I couldn't make it seem like 
I dropped it. That's exactly what I thought, is that if I knew you wanted to take the deal right away, mm -hmm. but you, there's certain people that expected you to fight for Yes, them. yes. And so. I couldn't just drop it and then have to deal with those people. Yes. Um, That's why I was a little surprised when you dropped right away. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I was expecting him to drop right away. I was a spit Oh, so Dylan dropped and it's just the three of us. Yeah. And you dropped like pretty quickly. When you Obviously because you trusted us too to keep you safe. Yeah. 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 When I was like, let's make a deal. When you said let's make a deal, I was like, oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But people know normally that you would not put me up. Of course, there's no like, point whatever. in Whatever, so I was like, I don't yeah. care. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been more weird that I would try to stay mm -hmm. now. Yeah, it would have been a little bit weird. So I was just like, oh, You're just honest about it. So it was like, just like, don't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, I, I felt like people on the bench would have been... What is, what is trying to do? I feel. What? If I was trying to stay, whatever. Yeah, I felt like people on the bench would have been upset with me. Oh, okay. If I didn't, if I dropped right away mm -hmm. and I couldn't mm -hmm. just drop, I had to do what I had to do. And um, I feel bad saying this because I love the girl, but When you did give me the deal, I looked at Aika and she went like this. Like, don't take it. I don't take it. Yeah. And... Oh, shit. You need to stop disturbing right <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. JK, Jose. Oh, can't. I know that Aiko was very nervous about me winning. Yeah, she was, because she didn't know if she could trust you or not. And that's, you know, you'll deal with that. But I just want to, like, give my truth so that you see the difference between the stories. Yes. Um, so she, she went like this, like, don't do yeah. it. And I was like, oh, now I have to stay a little longer <laughs> just to pretend. Anyways, that's, that's whatever. Um, but I did feel safe. Yes. With you being like being HOH. Um, I don't know what you're gonna do, but I know you have a lot of trust in Aika and Dimitri. For you I yes and no. Because I know they've been taking stuff back to Dylan. I know they've been taking stuff back to Jackie. I really feel like they've been trying to pit people against me. Yes. This because after you said that we have the votes and I stopped campaigning to Will, I felt safe with that five. Mm -hmm. You, two, Ike, Dimitri, me. I really did. Mm -hmm. But I know that they've been taking stuff back to other people. And that's been very concerning to me. Mm -hmm. So my trust for them has fallen in the last two days. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I'm just in a tough position because I, I love these people. It's just that it's, it's hard. Um, Again, sorry. Um, I think that from the perspective of your game, it might be better for you not to go after Akai Dimitri mm -hmm. um, because that leaves big targets in the house. To protect me. And mm -hmm. the rest of the That's people true. will try to go after Akai Dimitri anyways. Not that you're not a big target. You are probably the biggest target after them because they're a duo. Yeah. However, right now, how it's positioned, especially after the power of veto when the secret power of veto is that people see you guys as a duo now more than they see him and I as a duo. I know that, yeah. So, um, so after Ika Dimitri, there's a possibility that, that William and Kevin are the next duo. Yes. To go after. Um, so if you, if you don't want to be the biggest target, then I do think keeping Ika Dimitri are better. And if ever you want to go after Aika Dimitri, you have to make sure that Aika leaves because if she stays, it's going to be hell for you. Vengeful. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very yes. vengeful. We know how she can be. And yes. I, don't, I don't think that she's going to try to work with you. I think it's more going to be like turning everyone against you. Yes. Um, I, I like don't want to tell you what to do because I feel very bad in the position that I'm in right now. Um, but I want to say that there, 
I, I think you know how good she is at convincing and at convincing. How, how good she is at telling stories. Um, a lot of times she's going to tell a story and be like, yeah, it was, you know, Dimitri, me and Dre, and blah, 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 blah. And I believe it. And I'm like, oh, wait, I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> um, and I feel like she uses that a lot to convince people of, of certain things. Yes. Um, I really, really love Aika. Um, I really do. I think she's a good friend. The only thing is that I didn't appreciate the back and forth that she had of like playing the middle line and going back and forth with the house and then like, giving information about us to you guys. Yeah. And then giving information to us about you guys. And I think that... When it was like blue room versus pink room, kind of, in the mm. Six Alliance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it was like, you, I, could, I can meet you with you guys and we were on the other side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like that lasted for a long time. I feel like since the... See, since I feel like I trusted her fully since day one, week one, in yeah. all honesty. And I feel like um, she kind of like played both sides for a long time. Very long. Well. And at the very end, so that's like week five, six, where in my opinion, she felt like it was too much and, and she couldn't handle the back and forth. That's when she decided to be like, oh, by the way, I might have been playing both sides of the house, blah, blah. And that happened to be the double eviction. And anyways, um, I feel like had she told me that sooner, maybe something could have happened, but because she waited a long time, my trust in her just really went from 200 to like 50. Yeah. Um, and since then, it's just been hard to like trust everything that she says just because I, I, I feel like she's done it before, so I don't know what she's going to do again. Um, I know that she really, I think that she really trusts me, um, but I also know that sometimes she gives my name out there to protect herself. Yes. Um, so I I would feel very bad saying yes, go after I can Dimitri. Um, but I'm gonna say if you do, you do have to make sure that you get the right target out of the house because I think it's gonna be worse for you. If the wrong one goes. If the wrong one stays in. Um, But I, I agree. People, I think, see William and I more as a duo than even you two they after are. the veto ceremony. They are, yeah. yeah. Seeing that William had a hard time, like, not using it and things like that, and I think just assuming that William wouldn't use it and then seeing that he had a hard time using it and seeing that the secret power video was used and, like, who had it? Was it Kevin? Was it William? Was it Jackie? All that, I think, just put a lot of more paranoia. Yes. And, and people have started to see you guys as a duo, and and it's like after Ika Dimitri is probably gonna be you guys. Forget yeah. Bill and Karen, like. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is right now. Um, yeah, I, I, there's a lot of things that are being said that are not necessarily true. Yes. And um, I do think part of. Anka's game is to like pin people against each other. It was that happened a lot the last two days, and that's why I was like, I was very excited with the five. I, I wasn't even really talking to Dylan, Jackie, Karen, mm -hmm. but then I saw them. I just see Ika having conversations with Dylan, with Jackie, with mm -hmm. Karen, and then like mm -hmm. she was really pitting us against each other because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she was scared for this H O H challenge. Yeah. yeah, she was, and I feel like I'm not in the best position right now. Because I don't like lying and having to pretend that much. Mm -hmm. um, but... No, I don't... I, of course you can keep it I like, know exactly. Because you love certain people and... Mm -hmm. Like, I, to, I, I understand, like... Mm -hmm. I understand. I have, a, I have a lot to think about, too. Yeah, I think there's a lot to think about. At the same time, I, I feel like if you want to make a move, like, you can. You're in the best position right now, obviously, to make a move. And it's no secret that they are big targets in the house. Big targets. Um, but af let's say, hypothetically, mm -hmm. I go after Egg and Dimitri. Let's say Dimitri leaves. Mm -hmm. People see William and I as a pair, and that's, like, the next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. The next step would be you. Um, 
Yeah, and if I can leave, Dimitri stays. He's most likely to be a little lost and like not really know who to align with because he's still going to be seen as a target. Although he's going to be solo, he's still a, a huge physical threat. So I think Dimitri would still, well, I think with Dimitri, whoever stays will still be seen as as big targets mm -hmm. but they'll be alone yeah mm -hmm. so if you're able to convince people not to go after the duels and to go after one of those yeah. when they're alone then that's great um so for my game if i can trust i can dimitri to keep me safe next week it's probably better to keep them mm -hmm. if you feel like you can trust them because then i'll be a little protected but if i keep them safe and then they win and they put me on the block and then i'm like dumb i'm an idiot yeah. So it's whether I can trust them for one week or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because yeah. Ika, Ika told me that it was us two standing there in the challenge, mm -hmm. and that when she was looking at you, you looked at her, and she said, "It's okay, you can drop." Because that's how much she trusted you. Mm -hmm. But I know she was nervous. So the whole shaking the head thing makes sense. Mm -hmm. She needed you to win because she doesn't trust you. She doesn't trust you, yeah. yeah. So no, she didn't say it's okay, you can drop. She, she didn't said, say that. She, this is what she, this is. She, she, didn't mm -hmm. she, oh, she didn't do that. She, she went like this. <laughs> she said, girl, don't you? She said, don't drop. Yeah. And I know that it's hard for her and I, and I, The way I feel right now is that I can't trust her as much as I, I used to, mm -hmm. just because of, of what she did. Um, and I see how she operates, and I don't necessarily... It's not really my thing. And... Yeah. No, I, I appreciate everything you said. I know that you can't share everything, but that's given yeah, me a lot to Yeah, it's just like, about. I don't even know what to share and what not to share. It's mm -hmm. like... That's fine. Like... Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what to share and what to share. Um, I just know that she's, she's really good at telling stories and convincing people. And, and she Very looks convincing. like it's a believable story. Yeah. Um, when it's not. She's very convincing. Yeah. So, and I know that she's been, you know, telling people that you said that you were coming after them. And then telling you, I guess, that they said that they were coming after you yeah. or whatever. Um, and that works for her because it puts her in a kind of like in the middle. So she hopes that people fight together. Yeah. Um, that happened a lot over the last two days. Yeah, obviously, because she, she felt, yeah, that she was getting like boxed in or that people were going to yeah. target her. Um, but that's not only game wise. I think she's been rubbing people the wrong way as well in, in different actions. Um, so, yeah. No, I, I, I agree with your perspective on pretty much everything. I just need to think. Yeah. All I know is that you two are absolutely safe. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. right now, like, if I'm real talk, if I have to make a nominations right now, I would put Ike and Dimitri up. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's not set in stone. I need to talk to other people. Yeah, but that's what my gut told me when I won that challenge. Yeah. But if I learn new stuff or whatever, that's just the way I feel like I would go. That's right the now. thing is, like, what, what stuff is true what is not yeah. true yet so you have to hard. filter the information because you you hear so many things I, anyways there's so many things happening i know bruno respects Ika a lot and i know that um he gives her a lot of credits for a lot of things which is great um but at the same time i feel like he, him and you because you guys were together acted a lot like she was the one making the decisions and like making that's the way that. he felt that way a lot and I did too yeah we both felt like that mm -hmm. we both felt like she had a lot of power yeah um but technically Bruno left because I didn't want Bruno to be here yeah and even if Aika came and begged and said can we keep Bruno I probably would have been like, yeah, sure. And then I would have went and told the rest of the people, yeah, we're voting Bruno out. Yeah. So in in one way, and that's only because I did say, like, we're keeping Kevin and Bruno has to go. And I feel like 
in one way Bruno campaigned only to Ayaka and Dimitri yeah, as and if uh, they were the one holding all of the votes. He felt Dimitri like didn't vote and Ayaka was one vote. And he felt like she had a lot of controlling powers. Mm -hmm. He definitely felt like if he could get Ike and Dimitri that he would stay. Yeah, That's which as a Big Brother player, Canada fan and player, I'm just like, you're devaluing, so you're not putting any values to any other votes, votes and yeah. you're sticking with the HOH or whatever person. Which is funny because when you guys were not HOH and decided to vote, you did not necessarily respect whoever was HOH and w how no, they wanted no. to vote. So I just felt for Bruno that it was funny that he would yeah. try to... Yeah, week you know. one, I didn't respect Karen's HOH. I tried to go against her. Your HOH, you guys, you wanted Dylan to go. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to stay. I went against you. Mm -hmm. like I haven't respected the HOH at all. Mm -hmm. I just, that, yeah. mm. What happened during Williams' HOH again? You told me Neda told you not to use the POV. So we, the night before the POV That's ceremony, cool. Mm -hmm. I wanted to save Dylan. I was close to Dylan. Mm -hmm. I really trusted him. I wanted to save him. Mm -hmm. And we had a conversation about the replacement nominee, and I was told that it would be Jackie, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this is... I, you guys told me that it would be... Or William told me that it would be Jackie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, f I felt pretty good with it, and I was going to use it. I went to bed that night. I was like, this is awesome. I can save Dylan. Mm -hmm. My relationship with Dylan and Emily would be great. Mm -hmm. Jackie really wasn't anything to me at that point, and I was, like, really, really happy. The next morning, before the POV ceremony, there was like a weird vibe. Netta grabbed me and said, you heard about the plan. That side of the house is trying to trick you to use the veto, and they're going to put up Bruno. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, because I, I really believed William at the time. And I said, but for me, if there was any chance that Bruno was in danger, I was not going to use it. Yeah. I yeah. wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. So I said, no, I'm not going to use it. Yeah. Then Ika came to me after the ceremony, and said, did Netta talk to you? She said, yes, good, okay, because there was a plan for Bruno to be the replacement nominee. Mm -hmm. So Netta told me before, I didn't use it, I could confirmed after and said, all right, good. Mm -hmm. So you guys knew that Aika was getting information from us or like being on our side and then giving it back to you guys? Yes. Okay. But we, we questioned if she had to make a choice who she would go with. I think she would have gone with you guys, mm -hmm. like, after a while. But she was loyal to, to the, the six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that was the plan. She was supposed to operate on that side with Dimitri. We were supposed to be in the blue room with Dylan, Emily, Jackie, etc. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to control both sides of the house. Yeah. But there was distrust in the group, mainly between Netta and Ika, mm -hmm. and that blew up the double eviction. I find it funny that there's a rumor about the newbies trying to get the vet, the vets returning players out when since day one it's actually the returning players that have had an alliance together mm -hmm. and try to get basically us out mm -hmm. yeah when we came in after like the, there was kind of conversation we never met as the eight group but we always said team vet team vet like mm -hmm. this is our second That's chance so one of us funny. have to win it didn't last at all yeah <laughs> no it oh my goodness it didn't last at all because day three Cassandra wanted Bruno and I to throw the veto competition because mm -hmm. they were threatened by Dylan, right? Because Dylan was kind of saying, let's go after the vets. So Cassandra was mad at Bruno that Bruno won the veto on day three. And we're just like, holy shit, it's day three. And like yeah. the, Between Cassandra, Netta, Aika, Gary, like that group was never going to work as a functional group. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. So it, it fell apart immediately. And by week two, we're just like, all right, like this is, it was just done. So mm -hmm. when did the six form? The six formed on day, uh, Dimitri won on day six, so it was the next day. When we picked the cards for mm -hmm. the yellow cards and we had the have-not room, mm -hmm. it formed in the, in the have-not room and then we confirmed it up here. And this week too, and you guys all, were all vets except Dimitri. It's five vets, one new player. Yeah. And that's when you decided to put Dallas out. That's when Netta... Um, yeah, we were all kind of terrified of Cassandra and Dallas because we knew they were very close. Cassandra and who? Cassandra, yeah. or sorry, Netta didn't trust Cassandra. I didn't trust Cassandra. Bruno didn't t trust Cassandra. Mm -hmm. And uh, we knew Dimitri was close to Cassandra, so he would never put her as the replacement nominee. So next best bet was Dallas. 
because they were very, very close. Mm. Mm. So who campaigned to keep Cassandra? Who campaigned to keep Cassandra? Mm -hmm. Nobody from our side. We were terrified. I was terrified that you guys were going to flip it because Cassandra and I didn't get along. Who is you guys? Is it just... You two. <laughs> you, us two were like... I thought you two, Gary, Karen, and then uh, Ike Dimitri could have flipped it, I think, right? Yeah. But then Ike and Dimitri felt loyal to the six, so they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What are you guys up to? Can I What's come in up? now? Shitting the shit. Yeah. We need three more hours. <laughs> Get we the fuck have, out. We actually have a little more time, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally, though. Oh, Dylan, sorry. Thanks, really? Dylan. Yeah, actually, though. <laughs> there's no one else to hang out with. Yeah, there's really no one. Dylan. <laughs> so cute. Well, that's... But yeah, any more questions about the start of the game? That wasn't the start. That was week two. Drake, <laughs> <laughs> come on. We were already that far just... in. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, the team vet didn't last very long at all. The six so were, very you long. two guys were very upset at Jackie when she voted to put you up. I was upset at Jackie when she voted to put me up, yeah. Mm hmm Yes. And oh, I thought she God. voted against William as well. No, it was Cindy. And then mm. apparently it was Cindy. Yeah, it was Cindy. And I feel like everyone knew, anyways. Like, there's a lot of things that happen that now I'm aware of it and I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. And then it's hard knowing things from the past to, like, not consider it when you move forward. Yes, of course. I feel pretty open with, like, everything that happened in the early part of the game, though. I feel like everyone knows everything. Mm, I think so. Not no? really. Everyone knows everything. Like I what? feel like most people know when the six happened and no. when... No. I didn't. I didn't know when the six oh. happened. I've filled William in on, like, I've told you pretty much everything. Yeah. yeah. When? When it happened or after? After. Because yeah. when it was happening, I didn't know. I had no idea. No, of course. No, no. one no one was supposed to know. <laughs> but now that, like, Netta, when Netta exposed it, I was like, all right, we might as well say what actually happened. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So did Aika and ever threw William and I under the bus? She was always pretty protective of you guys. I really think, we really questioned whether she was gonna go with you guys or the six. No, she was always pretty good to you guys. That's good. I don't know, I feel like you're in a hard position. And I feel like Bruno should have campaigned to people that had the votes. And no, that's the past. Huh? It's the past. No, it's not the past. So he should have campaigned to people who had the vote. <laughs> and... <laughs> he never talked to you at all, eh? No. Yeah. no. He's like, I was he's like, surprised. He's like, I'll never get Dre's vote. I'll never get Dre's vote. He's he like, could Ke have. He's like, Kevin, can you maybe get William's vote? Can you maybe get William's vote? I'm just like... But why you didn't come to me? That's what he I was really supposed. felt like Ike and Dimitri had control. Why didn't he talk like the time that you put us in the room mm -hmm. and you were like, Ike did this and Ike did that and Ike did this? Remember that time? What time when was that? When Cindy was on the block and you guys were trying to oh. tell us that it was Ike that did all these things. This is what I don't understand with you guys. You have a team and then you turn on each other and then you pull people in to tell those people that what conversation your team member the conversation did. in the blue room yes when cindy bruno and i were there i was rubbing your head yeah you were rubbing his head on here yes bruno was here yes. cindy was on the bench there yes and you guys just bruno like, was bruno was mad after that that conversation happened because he didn't he was he was upset how it went down <laughs> why he was like he was like because he was trying to talk to you guys 
and then Cindy came in, mm. and he was upset that it made him look like he was campaigning for Cindy. Uh, that's not what he was doing? That's kind of what he was doing. Uh. But I, I don't know. I, I just rubbed your head the, the whole time. <laughs> and then I remember, oh, I remember saying, I was like, and then one time you're like, is Ike your queen? I'm just like, Ike is not my queen. <laughs> that's a... <laughs> <laughs> I was because I just felt like this conversation was a lot about like what she did and how she did this and she was the one doing that and I'm just like all along, it's either you follow her or you don't. Like, yeah. I don't. You can't get mad. Like, there needs to be a leader and then there's followers, and following is not a bad thing. So. There needs to be people that execute stuff. No, like not everybody's gonna lead. Mm -hmm. A leader leads something you know there's like just not you know just not a leader by yourself like you get what i mean yes. there needs to be a and then yes so if you feel like she was the one doing all of those things she needed you guys to execute those things yes and when you did that i felt like you could think by yourself and be like is this good for me or not but I, maybe you guys didn't do that and maybe you guys just felt like whatever she's saying is what you guys have to go with because for some reason, I don't know why, but I don't know who was calling the shots. But I just felt like you were putting a lot of things on her when you guys could have thought of things before. Yes. Yeah, I remember that conversation in the blue room. Bruno was mad after. Oh, like, yeah. That didn't go well. <laughs> That didn't. No conversation that I ever had with Bruno went well. Ever. 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 Uh, we had a couple conversations go well, but most of them didn't go well. And which conversation went well? What's that? Which conversation went well? The one where we're like, real talk, I don't like you. I felt like that was a good conversation. Already. Yeah. That was a good conversation. That was the only conversation we had. That was the one that I felt the best about. That's good. Because all of the rest... I never had a good conversation with Bruno. Even when you pulled us in the cave and you were like, I don't know, this is good. This is good, guys. Like, we can build something. I was just like, show me something. You were falling asleep. I was like, is he still talking? Anyways, Kevin, you have a lot of thinking to do. And I don't want to push you towards the wrong decision. Yeah. If you do keep Anka and Dimitri, it's true that there are going to be bigger targets in front of you. Yeah. At the same time, if you keep them... They're going to still be there in week nine. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna go. They're going to they're gonna yeah. go far. Yeah, if they can both play next week. So it is a tough decision. Yeah. And with two, you two guys, you're safe. But I'm not going to sit here and say, like, keep me safe next week. That wasn't the deal. I mm -hmm. promised you safety mm -hmm. with no strings attached. Mm -hmm. So if you win next week, you can still put me up. But that, at that point, you have to decide whether you can trust me or not. Yeah. So I'm not going to sit here and plead for my safety next week with you guys. No. Yeah. It's whether you can trust me or not. I appreciate that. Well, you know William is not going to put... <laughs> of course. <laughs> this, to drive. <laughs> really? I was like... <laughs> really? <laughs> to drive. <laughs> to me. Yes. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, so I decided to put Dre and Kevin on the block. I would kill myself. <laughs> Legit. Take the knife. Replacement <laughs> nominee myself. <laughs> oh. yeah. But yeah, I think you you have a lot of thinking to do. I think there's a lot of, of people out there that are trying to be loyal but have a hard time finding people to be loyal to. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, and... Yeah, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, I think you can you get a pretty good read on the game as well. So. Well, sometimes. Yeah. Yes and no. But. My, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people see you as someone that's really sneaky and that lies a lot. Yes, um, for sure. And I have done a lot of that. Yeah. But I think I'm more honest than people actually think. But I have lied and I've schemed and for sure. You have what more? I have lied and I've schemed and I've done a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm actually more honest and more straightforward than yeah. people think. Yeah. I, I I do think so as well, but I think that the fact that you've lied a couple of times or a lot and that you kind of schemed or whatever, um, people may have a hard time trusting you right now. So yes. maybe that's your disadvantage moving forward. 
because there are people that want to just want to find loyal people but they don't know who is going to be loyal to them yeah. like back to them and I think that's maybe your disadvantage um, and also think that sometimes you lie and then you come clean with your lie and I I feel like it doesn't make you more genuine because you did that yeah. and I, I, people see that they see that you told a lie and you came clean and it's like not because you like and then you lie again and you come clean again you know yeah I've done that a couple times yeah and it's just like okay Kevin stop yeah but I like ever everyone is also guilty of that stuff you know mm-hmm. the people judging me for doing that have definitely done that as well yeah mm-hmm. definitely yeah everyone really I do think everyone lied um, to cover their, themselves or their team or whatever. Um, but I feel like some people are more sneaky than others, and I do think that you're one of those people that are a little bit more sneaky. I don't know if or... I'm sneaky. You think I'm just super sneaky? Not super. I think sometimes, a bit like Bruno, I think like sometimes you really think that you got it, and that people can't see through it when yeah. people actually can. Yeah. That's how I feel. Mm, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And you still don't like me, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not going to change. Yeah. It's going to stay like <laughs> Oh, my like God. That. Don't do this awkward conversation because I'm going to leave. But why is it awkward? You can tell someone that you don't like them. It's fine. It's fine. Really? It's yeah. weird. I just... <laughs> okay, whatever. Shut my... So... I think it's fine. I really think it's fine. It's fine. It's not, yeah, no, if no, no, you no, no, were no. drowning in a lake, <laughs> I would still jump and try okay, to save Okay, I was scared. I'm not like you, yes. William. <laughs> people are in slop and you're like, people are out of slop and you're like, shit, why? I'm not like that. I don't know, I'm petty. For... This is funny things. It's hard, but it's not. This is what you really feel inside. If you were burning in a building, would I would still me. try to save yes. you. If my feet were sore from an HOH competition, never. Ne- you would rub them. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Not that. If you were getting bullied, I would still jump in. Yes. That doesn't mean I like you and I. You if know. I was hungry, you would make me a sandwich. Oh, you went too far. Too far. Went too far. But yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where this line is, you know. The <laughs> line is if it's life or death situation. Yeah. But if it's for my happiness and my hunger, no. I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to make me a sandwich, you're more, you're more, you're than, more than welcome to do so. But yeah. You have a lot of thinking to do. Remember that Dylan's still mad at you because you didn't use that POV. And he will forever be mad, I'm sure. And remember that Jackie's still oh mad because God. you threw her under the bus. And she will forever. And remember that yeah. Karen hates you. Yes. And that's remember, right, that's right. And remember that Dimitri has won three HOHs. And, and I remember that she's... Ica is your queen. <laughs> uh. That's a lot to remember. And remember that Bruno is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno. Mm. If Bruno had stayed, mm-hmm. would you have paired up with Ike and Dimitri or would you have gone after them? If Bruno was here right now and mm-hmm. we voted out Karen, mm-hmm. it depends if they saved him or not. We would have all saved him. What do you mean? Yeah, it depends. It just wasn't going to happen. It Sometimes. Wasn't what? Bruno. I feel like of all the votes, the Bruno vote was the most to suck. It, was just, it wasn't flipping, I felt like. I felt like there, it was just stuck. Because when you told me in the blue room that you're going to campaign against Bruno, I was just like, oh, it's, there's not even much Why? hope. Remember in the blue room? You're like, yeah. I'm going to campaign against Bruno. And I said, I'm going to oh. campaign for him to stay. But what happened? Did you campaign for him to stay? I talked to people, but meh. Like, wh- like what was I going to say? I talked to Ike and Dimitri about it all the time. Because we thought that was where... What happened to Dylan? What happened to, you know... Talk to Dylan. Me, William, Jackie... I talked to William a little better, a little bit. It was better for your game for Bruno to go, though. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to Dylan and Jackie? Talk to Dylan. Talk to three, and then Dylan and then Dimitri would have made the... the 
Tiebreaker. Talk to Dylan a little bit about it, but Karen's kind of his girl. Yeah, true. So there was just Jackie, Aika, who else? William, maybe. Okay, yeah, maybe there was no hope. <laughs> it was it was tough. It was a bad situation. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah, but do you feel like you know why you were in this situation? Yes. Like, did you did you know when Dimitri won the HOA? Did you feel like you were going on the block? Yes. You did? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred. Really? Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. But I was very like there was a lot going on. I said I don't know. I don't know what's better for your game. And she said I don't know. I was like just don't do this. Like Ned is not going to go after us. I have nothing to hide anymore. Like I'll tell you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out like what happened. Yeah. So at this point, you did. My my Bruno's gone. Like Cindy's gone. Like. Yeah, you have William. I've had William looking after me. Yeah, he really did look after you. <laughs> okay, so you did trust Anka during that time, right? Yes. During the double eviction. Yes. So Neda goes up, you vote her out. So the week after, when Dylan wins, you think it's Aika Dimitri on the block? Well, because when we gave up that challenge, mm -hmm. when we gave it to Dylan, mm -hmm. it was kind of... It, Bruno was standing beside Dylan during the challenge. Mm -hmm. I was on the right side. Mm -hmm. I was beside William. And we kind of made a deal, like, let, let's step off for safety. And that's what I agreed on. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Dylan and Bruno had actually talked about that Ike and Dimitri were going to be the nominations. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually know it for sure be them, but I, I for sure thought it was probably going to be them if we stepped off. Mm -hmm. So they were mad that we didn't fight for them. I'm just trying to figure out if Ike and Dimitri are still playing both sides, kind of. I don't think so, because we're on the block. We were on the block. Yeah, but they were still mad that you didn't vote for it, that you didn't fight for them. On that Dylan, on that bus killed On that bus killed, yes, they were mad that we didn't fight so for them. So they did expect They did expect to... us to fight for them, yeah. Okay. And so when it was Jackie and Dimitri, you felt like that was good? When it was Jackie and Dimitri, mm -hmm. I didn't push for those nominations. Mm -hmm. I had a bad relationship with... I had a... So. Dylan was Dylan and I's relationship was pretty bad because of the POV, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't I didn't ask him about nominations. Mm -hmm. and then when I heard it was Jackie and Dimitri, I was like, okay, that's fine. Like I didn't push for anything. I just mm -hmm. knew I was safe and I wasn't gonna go back to this word. Mm -hmm. Then when the replacement uh, the replacement nominee was gonna happen and I heard it was gonna be Cindy, mm -hmm. I was terrified. So I pushed for it to be Iker because mm -hmm. I wanted to protect Cindy. Because Cindy was your closest one of my closest yeah. yeah yeah and then when cindy went home you went back to Ica and be like let's work together we were it was very much like this it's very very much like this mm -hmm. like during the hoh challenge like when it was dimitri and bruno in the finals i was terrified I knew if Dimitri won, it would be me and Bruno, and it was. Yeah, but of yeah. course, after we, we won, we tried to work something out, but it was never going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay. Well, that's good. That's everything. Well, that's not everything. That's a lot. Yeah. That's good. So everyone from the six is gone except you and Ica I can Dimitri. Dimitri. Well, the half half mm -hmm. of the six is half still here. But it's the last three to leave: Netta, Cindy, Bruno. Mm. Mm. It's the last three. Yeah. Yeah. We'll s Anyways, do think of what you have to think. I mean. Even if us five were to work together, we would still have to eat each other at one point, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I really feel like this game is like, who is gonna go after who first? Like, you both are like, no, we're not coming after each other, but someone wants to make the move first. That's how yeah. I feel like this game is. Yeah, exactly. It's like a game of chicken. Yeah. Oh, I'll think about it. But yeah. I'm gonna go now because I'm tired of talking to you. 
Yeah, we just talked a lot of game. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat, and Dylan probably wants to come in and give him, you his two cents, so. Oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna talk to anybody. You said you want blood on your hands. I said, yeah, let me take the blood on my hands. Yeah, so you can't be tired. No, I'm tired, I don't want it, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. Cause I could've won that, and I know what I would've done. So you better. What's that? I said, I could have won that, and I know what I would have done, so you better not be tired right now. What would you have done? I can't tell you. Tell me. Just tell me it was me. It was fine. That it was you? Would you have put me up? No. No. If I put you up, I would almost have to put William up. Yeah. And she doesn't want to do that. And that would have been bad. Yeah. That would not happen. So that would have been bad. I wouldn't have done you. But maybe if you ask me in a group setting, I might have to lie. So, so don't do that. Okay. Thanks. Dre, who would you have? <laughs> I should just yell it. <laughs> I would have put Kevin and William. I swear on my kids, <laughs> on my bunny, on like, my rat. <laughs> so Dre, you don't have kids. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Swear on my kids. <laughs> I have a family and kids. They're ten. If you got kids for real, I sh Imagine if I have kids. No, no Kevin's chance. like, uh. No way. They're little though. <laughs> <laughs> They're two and three. Let's talk two more tomorrow. That's gonna be a no for me, but. Tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night. <laughs> How about we talk <clears throat> tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night? Done. Yeah? Okay, let's do that. Oh, oh. If you're ever confused, you can... If I ever forget who my queen is, I'll come ask you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can tell you who your queen is. If you ever need to ask me some questions... You can ask me. I will try to be honest. And if I can't be honest, I just won't say anything. Yes. What are you doing? You've been listening? Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. Dylan has been listening to the conversation all... Okay, come in. Oof, that was a lot. It's a lot. It's good though. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It was good though. Yeah, but she was right about the thing that they would be like, like, in front of you. Didn't uh, I can Dimitri? So. Yeah, they would. It's gonna be a hard decision. No, she's right about pretty much everything. Mm. I don't really don't like this camera, like. What's Just it? over the bed like that, I don't like this kind of yeah, That is too much. Yeah, it's pretty close. So close. Ah, ah. My hair. My hair. Oh my, I gotta turn my eye. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Stop that. Stop what? Stop what? Stop being you. Uh. Stop being you. Mm. William, I'm scared that people are going to see us as a pair. Do you think so? Let's do a fake fight. Oh. I hate you. Uh. <laughs> you. You're annoying. You motherfucker. You're annoying. You motherfucker. I don't like you. I don't like you. 
I hate you. I hate I you. I played you the whole game. I played you I'm more. I'm a straight man. I played you more. I, I'm a straight yeah. man. And I, I have kids. You're straight. I have. A, I played you. I have a wife. Uh, her wife. Her name is Natasha. <laughs> I love her. Um, <laughs> Get out of here. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm so tired. Uh. Mm. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Too. Oh, Dre's an interesting girl. Oh, I love her. I know this is sure awkward with her, but I love Dre. She's my best friend. I'm so happy that my best friend in the house is from Montreal. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're doing. I just want to cut all this. Mm. Oh, mm. Ike is so good at talking. Yeah. Ike is so good at talking. I know. Don't make me talk to these people. Uh, Don't make me talk to these people. No. I'm gonna stay here and lock the HOA. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See you on Thursday. Mm. Can I sleep in your HOA? Yes. Yeah. I'm just worried about the people seeing us as a pair now. Because if people see you and Dre as a pair... Oh my god. Oh my god, my dick was out. Was it out? <laughs> was that a little bit out? What, do you think it's super late? I don't know. I, I feel that it's really late, though. There's eight people left. Mm-hmm. The blue dice are Ike and Dimitri. <laughs> I'm psycho. Then you have Dre and William. Then you have Kevin over here who's connected to William. Then you have Dylan and Karen. Dylan's connected to Dre. They have a pretty good relationship. Mm -hmm. Karen. And then you have Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> 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 it's, it's literally true, though. <laughs> Of our setup, our setup. Mm. I'm thirsty. Okay. It's 
so I can Dimitri. Alright, everyone gets knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dre, or sorry, William and Kevin in the final two. And the jury votes for Kevin to win. Probably. <laughs> I would have Dre <laughs> and Karen. I'm gonna have two votes. Okay. So Kevin's the HOH. Yeah. He puts all seven of the house guests on <laughs> a block, up. and they're all have nots. <laughs> no. Even William. He even nominates William. No. And makes him a have not. <laughs> no. But do you think that it's too late anyway? For what? The, that they see us as a pair. Like anyway, if they want to put you up, even if I, people come back with the idea that I'm with Dre, because whatever, if they I have to it's put, too late. they're gonna put me. They're gonna, they will not put Jackie on the block against yeah. you. Can I have a little, a little chip, please? This is the miss thing. Mm. It's it so yummy. Yeah. Please stop talking about brain. Oh, I just say miss thing. I didn't say the name. <laughs> 